formerly called the Book of Books, or the Lesser Book of the Sons of Fire, this being the third book of the Bronze Book. I might have picked the worst time to start this audio book. The Book of Scrolls, formerly called the Book of Books, or the Lesser Book of the Sons of Fire, this being the third book of the Bronze Book. Might want to hit the record button, Keith. <clears throat> the Book of Scrolls, formerly called the Book of Books, or the Lesser Book of the Sons of Fire, this being the third book of the Bronze Book. Chapter 1. The Sacred Registers Herein are recorded sacred things which should never be written, but the memory of man is like a storehouse made of straw, or like a store pit dug in sand. Even less enduring is his body. It is a frail thing of fleeting substance which passes away like the dew in the morning. And what of the mortal chain which links the generations in knowledge? Behold, it is a thing prone to distortion, a transmuter of tradition and truth. Therefore, when the command went forth from the Great One, illuminated with wisdom, and came to your servant, he saw fit to quell the doubts engendered by fear, and undertook to do the thing which had not been done before. Placing his trust fully in the... <laughs> Placing his trust fully in the protecting wings which are spread by the words issuing from the royal resistance. Placing his trust fully in the protecting wings which are spread by the words issuing from the royal residence. This is the part where we pause because there's a plane flying overhead. Single propeller, single, single propeller. That one. I feel like I gotta do some vocal exercises. Me, 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 me. <clears throat> These are the words spoken by the great interpreter, who, through the powers inherited by him from above, and by the powers now in his keeping, all freely bestowed upon him by the grateful hearts of his people below will lead us into the fields of everlasting glory. O exalted one, intermediate between gods and men, what we now do for you, do you for us. Let your deeds and your words become our words. Thus it ever was, and thus it will ever be, while mortal beings make pilgrimage through this valley of tears. Speak thus in your hour. The high-born one has not blasphemed the divine powers nor has he paid undue homage to earthly desires. He has not been loud-mouthed in the sacred places, nor laughed when he should have been grave. His tongue is pure. For when fed the words of men, he absorbs the truth and excretes falsehood. His mouth has never spewed forth words of malice or envy, words of oppression or injustice. Words of oppression or injustice never passed his lips. Look now at the great dark water mirror and see what is reflected there from the mists swirling along the corridor of time. Seeing your place, make ready so that when a summons comes from the dark one, you are not caught unprepared. These are the words to be spoken to those who peer from beyond the dark portal. can hear a car coming. His arm was ever ready to help those who did good for others, and he lent his power to those who ordered what was good. He stood for those who could no longer stand and commanded for those who could no longer command. He carried the weary and secured the helpless. He never oppressed the weak, nor did he permit injustices to go unpunished and unrectified. He stood by the side of the great potter, and because of his... <laughs> And because of his plea, the clay was shaped to a more pleasing form. 
He erased disfiguring faults and smoothed the roughness. He added stiffness to the mixture. He has done no evil. His words have always been true. He stands unashamed and fearless before the twin shrines. Even as it was in the land of the great river, so let it be here. Let him not be cut off by distance. Let not his power be cut off, for he stands between the worlds. Let it flow out like living waters unto the living and be as shining rays to the radiant ones. For here... The neighbors. <laughs> Can you guys hear the pots and pans in the background? I can't tell until I listen back, so that's why I usually play it safe. For here we see the power darkly, while beyond the horizon it shines brightly. He is everlasting, faithful in heart. He has admitted no other who would defile him. He has remained loyal to the sacred words and has diligently perused the great writings. He has navigated the shallows of the winding waters. Now he draws near. He has left his kingdom of trial. He has overcome the challenges of life. Now we wait for the dogs. Oh, the dogs are doing their barking thing. All right, usually <clears throat> when the dogs bark, I'll go back and do I some editing because they will bark for about, <clears throat> I don't know, 30 to 45 seconds at a time. It gives me a chance to. The book. I need. You know what else I need? Now is also a good time to, <laughs> if you guys would like to donate to the channel, subscribe, become a member. Help us get into a new recording studio. That would be wonderful. Thank you guys for your continued support. Thank you for the love. I'm stoked to not necessarily be quite alone while I'm doing these audiobooks because they can get quite, you know. You know how it is. Anywho, let's listen back. The Book of Scrolls, formerly called the Book of Books. Shout out Richie. In our Shout out Richie. Richie Breve for. The tip on the new microphone, by the way, this thing's beautiful. I don't hear any friggin'. But the memory of man is like it, which are spread by the words issuing from the wings, which are spread. Oh, just like I gotta do some vocal exercises. The highborn Let's one has missed from the dark exercises. one. You are not caught. Wait for the ducks. Hold on. I'll go ahead and record that or delete that. How's everybody doing? You guys having fun? I'm gonna check your guys' comments. Let's see and make sure nothing's going weird on your end. Um. Oh, two people in the room. No, no, uh, no chat comments yet, eh? All right. Well, what's up? I'm not three people in. We got that mag first magic Tesla number. All right, here we go. Oh man. Testing, testing, let's actually see how this picks up. Damn, that's a bummer. <laughs> Normally the neighbors aren't home during this time of the day. Today they are, and they kicked up a fan, maybe? Maybe a washing machine? It's like, do I keep going? You know, I'll have um, the ambient music going in the background, birds chirping, you know, our, our music in the background, plus the voice effects. It's like, do I, you know, is that hum really going to stand out? Welcome to the Man of Letters recording studio, and this is what... <laughs> <laughs> this is what we got to go through. What's up? All right. I, I don't think, I think it's fine though. It's really hard to tell sometimes. Is of life.
It's a bummer. Well, now we will edit, I guess. I want to hit the record button. Wait for that thing to shut off. That's can always do something, right? I want to hit the record button, Keith. <clears throat> Now we're listening back to. I want to hit the record button, Keith. Do some editing because the neighbors. The Book of Scroll. The Book of Scrolls. Because For... the neighbors are just. I don't know if they're the. That's a fan. I think the dry. I think they turned their dryer on. The Book of Scrolls, formerly called the Book of Books. Hey oh. Goose, what's cracking? We're doing uh. I wanted to show people what it's like to record audiobooks. The glam of recording audiobooks. So, welcome. We're reading from the, the Colburn Bible, which is... Should be a staple. It's making its way a little more into the mainstream spiritual world, but it's... it's Or the lesser book of the Sons of Fire. This being the third book of the Bronze Book. Chapter 1. The Sacred Registers. Herein are recorded sacred things which should never be written. But the memory of man is like a storehouse made of straw, or like a store pit dug in sand. Even less enduring is his body. I mean, that's where to have. Hmm. Might have to be is a frail thing of fleeting substance which passes away like the dew in the morning. Oh, that's a bummer. Good thing I checked this. We're going to have to get a pop filter. This new mic screen does absolutely nothing towards... That's a, that's a huge bummer, actually. That is a huge bummer. Frail thing of fleeting substance which passes away like... Fleeting substance which passes away... Frail thing of fleeting substance which passes away like the dew in the morning. That is unfortunate. We might have to double up our screen. Sorry, y'all. Welcome to the world of audiobook recording. Oh, this pop filter is not working necessarily. Hold on. Give me a little count in. Even less enduring is his body, for it is a frail thing of fleeting substance which passes away like the dew in the morning. All right. There we go. His body. Even less in. His body. Even less enduring is his body. For it is a frail thing of fleeting substance which passes away like the dew in the morning. Perf. Behold, it is a thing. Perf. <clears throat> hey, Goose. Uh, yep. Corpus Hermetica, we got that one covered. Vivian, hello. Oh, no worries, Vivian. Do your thing. Thanks, Goose. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys, for coming in and hanging. We're um, recording. Uh, some some behind the scenes of the Colburn Bible. Behold, it is a thing prone to distortion, a transmuter of tradition and truth. Therefore, when the command went forth from the Great One, illuminated with wisdom, and came to your servant, he saw fit to quell the doubts engendered by fear, and undertook to do the thing which had not been done before. Placing his trust fully in the... Damn, I... before placing his trust fully in the protecting wings which are spread by the words issue oh man i might have to record redo everything that <laughs> i just did son of a bitch all right should not been done before 
We're gonna have to redo that, you guys. Should not be done before. To quell the doubts engendered by fear and under, therefore, when the command. It's almost like the best time of day to do these recordings is before sunrise, which is what I usually do, but I got a late start today, so I'm dealing with a lot of external forces at the moment. A transmuter of tradition and truth. A transmuter of tradition and truth. Therefore. <clears throat> what we do to get the knowledge out there y'all what <laughs> what we do all right here we go therefore when the command went forth from the great one illuminated with wisdom and came to your servant He saw fit to quell the doubts engendered by fear and undertook to do the same thing which had not been done before, placing his trust fully in the protecting wings which are spread by the words issuing from the royal residence. These are the words spoken by the great interpreter, who, through the powers inherited by him from above and by the powers now in his keeping, all freely bestowed upon him the grateful hearts of his people below. All this will lead us into the fields of everlasting glory. O exalted one, intermediate between gods and men, what we do now we do. O exalted one, intermediate between gods and men, what we now do for you, do for us. Let your deeds and your words become our words. Thus it ever was, and thus it will ever be, while mortal beings make pilgrimage through the valley of tears. Speak thus in your hour. The high-born one has not blasphemed the divine powers, nor has he paid undue homage to earthly desires. He has not been loud-mouthed in the sacred places, nor laughed when he should have been grave. His tongue is pure. For when fed with the words of men, he absorbs truth and excretes falsehood. His mouth has never spewed forth the words of malice or envy. Words of oppression or injustice have never passed his lips. We gotta go back and make sure that this is all. Come on. He saw fit to quell the doubts engendered by fear and undertook to do the same thing which had not been done before placing his trust fully in the protecting wings which are spread by the words issuing much better there we go huh <laughs> find love on the best dating site all right i need my moderators to start kicking people out of here uh hide user on this channel thank you all right welcome everyone welcome welcome take your shoes off stay a while we're recording the colbin bible <clears throat> Look now at the great dark water mirror and see what is reflected from there from the mists swirling along the corridor of time. Seeing your place, make ready. See that when the summons comes from the dark one, you are not caught unprepared. These are the words to be spoken to those who peer from beyond the dark portal. His arm was ever ready to help those who did good for others, and he lent his power to those who were ordered what was good. He stood for those who could no longer stand and commanded for those who could no longer command. He carried the weary and secured the helpless. He never oppressed the weak, nor did he permit injustices to go unpunished and unrectified. He stood by the side of the great potter, and because his plea. He stood by the side of the great potter, and because of his plea, the clay was shaped to a more pleasing form. 
He erased disfiguring faults and smoothed the roughness. He added stiffness to the mixture. He has done no evil. His words have always been true. He stands unashamed and fearless before the twin shrines, even as it was in the land of the great river. So let it be here. Let him... Let him... Let him not be cut off by distance. Let not his power be cut off, for he stands between the worlds. Let it flow out like living waters. Damn it. Let not his power be cut off, for he stands between the worlds. Let it flow out like living waters unto the living, and be as shining rays to the radiant ones. For here we see the power darkly, while beyond the horizon it shines brightly. He is everlasting, faithful in heart, for he has admitted no others who would defile him. He has remained loyal to the sacred words and has diligently perused the great writings. He has navigated the shallows of the winding waters, and now he draws near. He's left his kingdom of trial. He's left his kingdom of trial. He's overcome the challenges of life. He's done all things written on the tablets of truth. And he has sojourned in the chamber of profound silence. He has done all things which are proper and been reassured that he has followed the right path. He does not fear judgment. <clears throat> all right. So when did your desire spirituality come about and what culture did it come from? A goose asks. Um, probably in college, my desire for spirituality, my gateway drug was just like the par my gateway drug was the paranormal and all the paranormal stories and stuff like that. I think uh, lucid dreaming was like my first sort of spiritual thing I came across where I was like, yo, lucid dreaming led to like meditation and led to all the other things this was like 2009 2009 2010 and then um i wrote my first book the cabalion or, or published my first book i should say the cabal um based on the cabalion in 2000 i started writing in 2014 finished it in 2015 published it in 2016 um but yeah, and the rest is history. I've had a couple of YouTube channels and et cetera, et cetera. Um, but yeah, hello everyone. Thanks for being here. Thanks for hanging out. We're doing a live recording of the Colburn Bible. Thanks for chillings is. You can support the channel um, by joining the Patreon or members or just kicking down a dollar in the group chat so I can have some more tea so that the voice stays nice. Or so that maybe one day we can upgrade from this den and have a proper recording studio. Anywho, as soon as that dog, as soon as my neighbors are done talking, because I think you can hear them. All right, they're having a conversation. So when the neighbors have a conversation, what we do is we go back to what we've already recorded and edit it and get a head start on the editing. Chomping the bits, if so speak. It's a mirror of tradition and truth. Therefore, when the command went forth from the Great One, illuminated with wisdom, and came to your servant, he saw fit to quell the doubts engendered by... At some point in my career, to your servant, he saw fit to... We'll be killing it so much that we can just record and have someone edit for us. Can you imagine that? When the day when we can afford someone to edit to for quell us, the we doubts can just engendered... read... All day long, we pump out three times as much by material. fear and undertook to do the same thing which had not been done before. Placing his trust fully in the protecting wings which are spread by the words issuing from the royal residence. These are the words spoken by the great interpreter. Man, Ooh, this thing sounds beautiful. This new microphone's killing it. Thank you to the Patreon subscribers and the channel members and all the donations because it went straight to this new microphone and it makes me so happy. Um, through the powers inherited by him from above and by the powers now in his keeping all freely bestowed upon him the grateful hearts of his people below all this will lead us into the fields of everlasting glory 
O exalted one, intermediate between gods and men. What we do now, we do. O exalted one, intermediate between gods and men. What we now do for you, do for us. Let's in men. O exalted one, intermediate between gods and men. What we now do for you, do for us. Let your deeds and your words become our words. Thus it ever was, and thus it will ever be, while mortal beings make pilgrimage through the Valley of Tears. That sounds so official, Speak man. thus in your hour. The high-born one has not blasphemed the divine powers, nor has he paid undue homage to earthly desires. He has not been loud-mouthed in the sacred places, nor laughed when he should have been... All right. <clears throat> I think my neighbors are done talking. We can go ahead and continue recording while we can. It does not fear judgment. And it, it does not fear judgment. Copy. Um, that's right. We are on page. And the next chapter, our next page. Just in time for the neighbor's dog to start barking. That's weird. I think. The neighbor's dog listens for me, and he's like, <laughs> he goes, is he recording? All right, everybody bark. <laughs> okay, I think he's almost done. Now. Thank you guys for being here. Let's go. Let him reunite with the Supreme One who sent him forth, so that he will not be separated from the waters of life. Let the holy heat enwrap him when he pass. the gods let the holy heat enwrap him when he passes through the place of what let the whole let the holy heat enwrap him when he passes through the place of coldness let his nostrils inhale the breath of nourishment that he may live and that we may partake of his existence just too much commotion the neighbors kick up and then the dogs kick up we're gonna have to keep editing so that is truth and excretes falsehood dires he has not been loud mouthed in the sacred places nor laughed when he should have been grave his tongue is pure for when fed with the words of men he absorbs truth and excretes falsehood his mouth has never spewed forth the words of malice or envy words of oppression or injustice have never passed his lips <clears throat> his lips look now at the great dark water mirror and see what is reflected from there from the mists swirling along the corridor of time seeing your place make ready see that when the summons comes from the dark one you are not caught unprepared these are the words to be spoken to those who peer from beyond the dark portal his arm was ever ready to help those who did good for others, and he lent his power to those who were ordered what was good. He stood for those who could no longer stand and commanded for those who could no longer command. He carried the weary and secured the helpless. He never oppressed the weak, nor did he permit injustices to go unpunished and unrectified. He stood by the side of the great potter, and because his plea... He stood by the side of the great potter, disfiguring faults. He stood by the side of the great potter, and because of his plea, the clay was shaped to a more pleasing form. He erased disfiguring faults and smoothed the roughness. He added stiffness to the mixture. He may live, and that we may partake of his existence. unrectified he stood by the side of the great potter he added stiffness to the mixture he has done no evil 
His words have always been true. He stands unashamed and fearless before the twin shrines, even as it was in the land of the great river. So let it be here. Let him, let him, let him not be cut off by distance. Let not his power be cut off. Damn. Not be cut off by distance. Let not his power be cut off for he stands between the worlds. Let it flow out like living waters. Damn it. Damn. Let not his power be cut off for he stands between the worlds. power be cut off for he stands. Be hmm. <clears throat> let, let it flow out. Let not his. For he stands between the worlds. Let it flow out like living waters. Damn it. Damn. Let not his power be cut off. Let not his power be cut. I don't know why it's. Let not. Yeah, it does, Goose. Um, it definitely aligns with all the nature-driven holy books. It's one of the reasons why I like reading the older ones as much as I can before the newer ones, because it's nice to see where all where everything comes from before everyone starts to put their own spin on it. And a lot of this was written even before the blow out like a lot of the Christian texts like living were waters unto the living and be as shining rays to the radiant ones. For here we see the power darkly, while beyond the horizon it shines brightly. He is everlasting, faithful in heart, for he has admitted no others who would defile him. He has remained loyal to the sacred words and has diligently perused the great writings. He has navigated the shallows of the winding waters, and now. He draws near. Writings. He has navigated the shallows of the winding waters, and now he draws near. He's left his kingdom of trial. He's left his kingdom of trial. He's over. He's left his kingdom of trial. He's left his kingdom of trial. He's overcome the challenges of life. He's done all things written on the tablets of truth. And he has sojourned in the chamber of profound silence. He has done all things which are proper and been reassured that he has followed the right path. He does not fear judgment. All right, well, we're almost done editing through what we've recorded so far. You guys enjoying yourselves? You having some tea? You relaxing? He does not fear night? judgment. Let him reunite with the Supreme One who sent him forth so that he will not be separated from the waters of life. Let the holy heat enwrap him when he pat. <laughs> Curse the gods. Let the It's like, do y'all want this recording to get out? Or not? Gods. Let us pass. When he pat. Let the holy life let the holy heat enwrap him when he passes through the place of fuck <laughs> let the whole it's funny listening to myself back i'm just like reading a holy book and then fuck right in the middle <laughs> of life let the holy heat enwrap him when he passes through the place of coldness let his nostrils inhale the breath of nourishment that he may live and that we may partake of his existence Hi. What's up, everyone? How you guys doing? Let's go find where we left off. I think the neighbors left the room that they were talking in, so we can continue reading. We were caught up editing, which is kind of nice. His existence. He may live, and that we may partake of his existence. All right.
gotta fix something real quick. I need to adjust the fans. you oh Rodney GTV I right, sorry for the lack of you I, I, I in my head I was like I'm gonna I'm gonna read him live behind the scenes and then realize that behind the scenes live for man of letters is like have to, if I'm out here recording for two hours, I've actually got 45 minutes of recording down because we got ca we just got cast some spells. I think that's what it is. Yeah, cast some spells. What well, one? Like I was just about to kick it up, and the neighbor's motorcycle just kicked on, and she lets it run for like 30 seconds before she takes off. So. <clears throat> Guess I can check in with the squad. See how you guys are doing doing all right it's cold on the west coast seattle nice i'm on the west coast too but i'm down in um southern california it's it was in the 30s but where i live it's been in the 30s at night at low 30 low not fucking doesn't hang out in the 30s but it's it's been getting awfully cold over here too um thanks for chilling rodney ellen vies good evening good morning i'm not sure where you're coming from where are you, are you in europe ellen All right, the motorcycle just left. We can start again. That we may partake of his existence. All right, let's go. Let me partake of his existence. Do not repudiate him. Make him welcome. Do not recognize the one you... In Do you not recognize the one you... Do you not recognize the one you endowed with power? Has he become too radiant? Is his form too glorious? Read what is written in the books of his heart. You set him in darkness and he saw. You set him in silence and he heard. You set him in emptiness and he felt. You established him in nothingness and he gathered substance. Therefore he returns with manifold powers. He is well fitted to be presented to those who stand before the Supreme One. That was super hermetic right there, right? You set him in emptiness and he felt. Nothingness and he gathered substance. Talk about that yin and yang, baby. When the bright sun shines with splendor in the day skies above, the gentle morning star hides her face in modesty and becomes unseen. All the great company of the radiant night lights withdraw before the majesty of the greater light. Yet when darkness eats the shining disk, we know again the comforting presence of the eternal stars, so let it be with your servant. The dark ones who dwell in their compatible gloom cannot claim him. The dark ones who dwell in their compatible gloom cannot claim him as one of their own. He cannot be numbered among their dreadful company. His heart is pure. His deeds were good. No creature spawned in murkiness has gained control of his thoughts. His desires have not been generated by denizens of the darkness. He who was afflicted here is not afflicted forever. He who was afflicted here is not... That fucking dog over there, dude. He who was afflicted here is not afflicted forever. Uh-oh. What happened? Afflicted forever. He who was afflicted here... Hmm. Check, check. Check, check. Check, check. I think my um audio input. Audio input capture one. I just lost. Check, 
check, check. Can you guys hear me? Check, check, one, two, check, one, two, check. Microphone check, microphone check, one, two, one, two, microphone check, one, two, one, two. Microphone check, microphone check. It's weird, my disconnected my recording device, and I'm not sure why. Um, depends on the book. A goose. Um, this book should take me a couple days with like a four to six hour session as long as it, it, this goes a lot faster if I can run them first thing in the morning or late at night. But I had the day off and I was supposed to be in the studio recording music and they canceled on me. So now I'm here recording our audio books. We left off at his desires. Everything's back up and running. Um, his desires have not been generated by denizens of the darkness. He who was afflicted here is not afflicted forever. He who is made whole, he is freed from pain. His sickness has departed. He rejoices he rejoices in the light. Therefore, let him be drawn towards the greater lights where they are. Let him not see the place of darkness. Let him not behold the hideous ones fashioned by wickedness, the dwellers in the dark recesses who shrink before the light, or the twisted ones molded by lewd desires. He brings with him a lamp lit from the flame of truth. He bears the rod of righteousness which rewards those who have overcome tribulations. Let him pass to the right side of the dividing flame. He has left us. He is coming to you. He approaches. He throws off the earthly wrappings. He stands free. He stands glorious. Does he not glow with splendor? Behold him, your worthy companion in brightness. Is he not wholly compatible with those of your company? See, he is a shining one, a hero of the horizon. Is he not one destined to abide everlasting? Take him, lead him to the realm of glory, show him his place in the spheres of splendor. The eyes that were deceived on earth now we see clearly. Oh, what splendors are revealed. The music unheard by earthly ears now sounds sweet. It is melodious music. Oh, what joyous rapture it brings. The nostrils inhale, the nostrils inhale perfumes too delicate for the earthly nose. Oh, how the heart sings. All drabness, all dullness, all sordidness. All drabness, all dullness, and all sordidness, which are of the earth, are left behind. Churn him from the place where these things can regather about him. The unmoving, empty body remains here before our eyes. It is nothing. It sees not. It hears not. It speaks not. It smells not. Its breath is stilled. It begins to fall apart. There is no life. There is no life, and the overseer has departed. Nothing remains here with us but this unresponsive thing. The greatness, the feeling, the sensitivity have departed from the body and are now being... The greatness, the feeling, the sensitivity have departed from the body and are now beyond our ken. These are with the real surviving being or receive him into the life of splendor. We who are here stand blinded behind the veil of flesh. We cannot see beyond ourselves. We hope, we believe, and we trust. 
Thus it has ever been with men, for they pass their lives behind a wall of limitations. There is a barrier shutting them in. They are imprisoned within the mortal body. O oh, grant us fulfillment. Grant us that which is that which is the ultimate desire and aspiration of men. We speak for this man. He who was... He, he is one who came with us from afar. He is one who has traveled a long weary road. No taint of meanness stained the purity of his spirit. No corruption of deceit discolored the garments of his soul self. He has gone over shining in radiant splendor. So even the doomed in their darkness can hope when they sight his distant glow. May it shed some small warmth in their grim coldness. O oh, great welcomer who greets the newcomers, help our departed one. He served well in this place of trial and tribulation. Let him not go unrewarded. He is the son of hope. Like us, like those who went before, he hoped as men have always hoped, for this is not a place of certainties. If it were, our heritage of glory would be badly earned. <clears throat> he lives because it is ordained that he live. He lives for all men live. He lives for all men live everlastingly. They die not. They perish not. They endure through ages. His cohort awaits him and need hide no awful aspect in shame. Let his face shine in greeting. Welcome home, the wanderer. This tombed structure is not a place of finality. The grave is not the goal of earthly life any more than the soil is the goal of the seed. Does seed die within the ground? Is it planted intending that it be mingled with the soil and lost? O oh, great welcomer, let your face shine with the gladness when you greet the homecoming wanderer. Lead him to the kohar which is his inheritance that he may enter into it and enjoy its embrace. Let him find completion and fulfillment by absorption into his kohar. Our departed one was a whole part of which came forth from the whole, and he returns to the whole. Nothing is lost, nothing is gone. He lives over there, lives more fully than he ever lived here. He lives in splendor, he lives in beauty, in knowledge, and in the waters of life. He is everlasting. O departed one risen to glory, you are now a released spirit united with your spirit whole. The companion, the companionable the companionable Kohar, the everlasting one, arise alive in the land beyond the horizon and journey to the land of the dawning. The stars accompanying you will sing for joy. While the heavenly signs voice hymns and praise and gladness, you are not far removed from us. It is as if we were in one room divided by a curtain. Therefore we are not sorrowful. If we weep, it is because we cannot share your joys. And because we no longer know your touch. O oh, everlasting Kohar, take this man of goodness into your inter take this man of goodness into your eternal embrace. Let your life become his life, and your breath his. He is your own. He is the drop returning to the filled pitcher, the leaf returning to the tree. You are the repository of his incarnations. As you grew there, so he grew here. You are everlastingly whole, and he lives in you. <laughs> That's funny. Pretty sure that last line was straight from Lion King. You see, he lives in you. Remember. Father, remember. Don't go. Remember. <laughs> Sorry, that was way off topic. Um, <clears throat> that was way off topic. Where were we at? I lost, I lost my spot. You see, you see, he lives here. Go lasting whole. I lost my spot. Where'd he go? It's your own. Drop a picture to you. Great.
This text is so small. If I look away for a second, apparently I lose my spot. Hold on. Oh, is it take a minute? Good evening, Trump. Brace. Your original words are. All right, lives in you. Okay, all right, here we go. <clears throat> and we, and we shall commence. If he is not even as you in face, let him enter. Hide his faults, for they are not many. For this you were fashioned, for this you came into being. You are the overbody awaiting the returning spirit, and the spirit now comes. You are that which will clothe the newly arrived spirit in heavenly flesh. You are that in which the departed one will express himself. O Kohar, hear us. Here is your vitalizing essence. Before you were incomplete, and now you are whole. Draw your own, your compatible one, to you and observe the many likeness. We send fragrances that they may spread around you. Now take the eye which will perfect your face. It is the perfecting eye, the eye which sees things as they are. See the fluctuating wraith. Is it not beautiful? Does it not come with an aura of fragrance, sweetness filling the air? It has been purged of all impurities. All about it is fragrant. Therefore grant it your substance, that it may become solid and firm. O Kohar, long have you awaited the day of fulfillment, the day of your destiny. That day is here. It is now. Therefore take the spirit which is your own and enfold it with your wings. Each to his own and to his own each goes. You and he are bound together with un. You and he are bound together with unseverable bonds. Each without the other is nothing. Now bear him up, for in that place you are greater than he, for you are the generator. While he rested in the womb, you were active. While he rested in the womb, you were active. As he grew, you grew before him. If he has done wrong, and who among men is guiltless, then in I have to wait for the neighbors to go by. This is the great work. <laughs> it would appear so, eh? Would appear so. The, uh, let the neighbors truck back out for a second, and we'll keep going. Nice. I feel like we're able to catch a good little rhythm. To let you know how long this takes so far, um, we started off on page 75, we are now on page 80, and this chapter ends on page 110. <laughs> um, no, 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 this chapter ends on, I'm sorry, this whole, this whole book ends on, a pa on page 120, and we've got five pages done so far. So this book is actually, the book of scrolls is actually pretty small compared to the other ones. The entire text itself, parts 1 through 5, are 183 pages. But the pages are pretty, are pretty dense. <clears throat> Alright, let's go. If he has done wrong, and who among men is guiltless, then in you let the wrong be adjusted. You are his hope, you are his, you are his shield, and you are his refuge. This we say to the brilliant one, the guardian of goodness. The departed one has not walked with ignorance. He has not been slothful in carrying the burden of his duty. He has not been swayed by passions of the body. Do you guys hear the saw in the background? Do I need to stop every time it goes off? He has not been swayed by passions of the body. He has not despoiled the house of another. He has not caused undue sorrow, nor has he maltreated it. Nor has he maltreated a child for pleasure. He has secured the poor and weak. He has done all that is good. Therefore, let none of those who lurk and dip. Ay. Need to like. He has secured the poor and weak. He has done all that is good. Therefore, let none of those who lurk in darkness seize him. His radiant light is strong. Those who would seize him are repulsed by the light and slink away. Yet he... He lives forever. 
Oh, you don't hear the the saw. All right, nice. I don't have to stop every day. Well, some of the time, one of the times I stop is because the saw. If you guys can't hear it, dope. We'll just keep running it. Thank, thanks for the feedback. All right. I'll just read through the saw noises. If you guys hear saw in the background, be like, yo, Keith. <laughs> All right. Um, he has lived worthily. He has been purified by the... Because you could definitely hear the dog. We'll give him a second. He might kick back up. Mm. He has lived worthily. He has been purified by the fires of earthly life. He has been refined in the furnace of tribulation. He has overcome all earthly temptations. He has lived the life which enhances goodness. He has prepared himself for life in the light. Receive him, brilliant one. O Kohar, absorb into yourself the life force. It was meant for you. It is yours. It is the enlivening spirit which spans the two worlds. He, the departed one, was you, and even more so were you, he. Come to him as the beauteous. Come to him as the beauteous. One came to Belusis, a great king, and gathered him in compassion and love. Come that he may awaken to new life in your arms. This man, the departed one, who in unity with you because the glorious one. This man, the departed one, who in unity with you becomes the glorious one, was born of a god and is the child of two gods, after the nature of greater men. Now you are impregnated with the living spirit of he who is prepared by trial on earth for you. Behold, in unity, your twain are now throbbing with life, and your brightness bedazzles the eyes. You are now a star of life. You are now a star of life, a living star, and to a star you shall ascend to rule its life. The departed one is now freed. He is loosed from the bonds of illusion. He is saved from the dark waters of unreality and is one with the eternal light. These things we declare, so let them be. Our thoughts mold a new reality beyond the present real, and this becomes the reality of tomorrow. O oh, greater substantial Kohar, protect this departed one. <clears throat> o oh, greater substantial Kohar. Protect this departed one, your own, from the accusations of false-fronted beings, remembering the faithful heart ever prevailing before the balances of our forefathers from far away. Put into his mouth those words which open doors. Let the goodness in him prevail, but you, yourself, stand up and bear witness for him. He suffered from the frailties of men. He was wrathful when provoked and surely when enduring great burdens. His temper flashed quickly when his words were not accepted or his ways followed, and at times he lacked consideration. However, these are small things inseparable from the frailties of mortal men, and in all greater things he was good. Let not the false-fronted one disguised in his brother's form possess him, guard him from the beings lurking in the shadows, this side of darkness." I see this, my brothers. Behold, the departed one goes to meet his own image. It is his self reflected in his image. It is his own self that comes to greet him. It is the Kohar which embraces him. It welcomes him as though he were one ransomed from captivity. I see them blend and he becomes a new seed in the heart of his Kohar. I hear the Kohar speak. It names itself Nebuchadnezzar. <clears throat> I hear the Kohar speak. It names itself Nebuchadnezzar. It says, O oh man, 
O man of pure thoughts, of kindly words, of quiet speech, of good deeds, come to me. I am your being, yet I am not you. As you have loved and cherished me, so now. As you have loved and cherished me, so I now love and cherish you. I am your reward, as I would have been your affliction. Ooh, interesting. I am your reward, as I would have been your affliction. They are now united, and this is the place of the first threshold, from whence the completed beings depart. The departed one now stands in his own form and likeness. He becomes the great ship-borne voyager and passes over the waters to the place of reeds. But his weaknesses do not bear him down, and he goes through. Great one, great ones lift him up. Let him not fall into the fetid waters of decay. He is a worthy son of Luth. Then the lesser is carried by the greater, while dark ones gaze up from their misery and wait silently to see if he is borne up. The glorious ones go past in peace, for he is not compatible with their dark company. He remains unmolested, for flame confounds the hands of slime. An unloosened dark one comes up saying it will take this man, but he is repulsed by brightness. It is a thing of maimed rottenness, for on earth it was clothed in less saturated flesh, though contained in a form of beauty. The heart of this man is not faint. See him now. He is not sure of his welcome among be. See him now. Is he not sure of his welcome among beings of glory? He is as the wild bull, the prince of herds. He is a great one among the everlasting spirits. He reaches the firm ground where a bright being welcomes him, and he is named the newcomer. He has landed on the shore and climbed the steps of splendor. He, he is in the company of shining spirits, and his earth life he is in the company of shining spirits, and his earth life companions greet him. They welcome him, saying, All this beauty, all this splendor, is yours to enjoy. They bring garments of beauty, bright clothes of radiance. He has passed through the hall of judgment. The twin truths have heard his plea, and those who bore witness have departed. He has crossed the waters and ascended the steps. Now... He has attained the threshold of immortality and stands in rapture. He has passed by He has passed by the regions of darkness and gloom and is with glory. He comes to everlasting life in a true form of splendor to dwell evermore as a living spirit within his kohar. How wonderful it is to be united and one with the kohar. The newcomer looks back across the waters to the place of decision. Then he turns and ascends the steps to the threshold of immortality. He is in his true form. Yet he is a spirit within his kohar. He speaks, but it is not the speech of men, and all understand him. His hearing is all-embracing. He sees both the powers of light and the powers of darkness, but the powers of darkness no longer affect him. The newcomer has reached his compatible abode. He has fought the battle which is mortal life and risen supreme to victory. He has not been vanquished by the raging ones which are the bodily passions. He has not been vanquished by the raging ones which are the bodily passions. At each step forward he has a at each step forward he has left a lifeless form. At each step he has fought a shadow. At each step he has won the clash of arms. The newcomer has sought out and discovered the one hidden behind the two, and the three which stand before them. He knows the secrets of the nine, which veil the others from the eyes of men. There's that magic number nine again. He has unraveled the skine of life's mysteries, even as those enlightened ones yet living on earth must do. 
There is no suffering or pain in the newcomer. There is no suffering or pain in the newcomer. It's a motorcycle coming. Hold on, we got one little stanza left. <clears throat> Come on, homie, turn off your motorcycle, please. There is no suffering or pain in the newcomer. He cannot feel hurt, neither can he be sorrowful. If a companion of his earth journey be numbered among the dark ones, then his heart is soothed with forgetfulness. But later he will remember and because of his efforts, the Dark One will be returned to the Crucible. The End Nice, that was a beautiful ending. <sighs> okay, Chapter 1 has been finished. Without edits, that's 31 minutes. Uh, thank you guys for being here, all eight of us for listening. Um, that was Chapter 1 of the Book of Scrolls. Excuse me, which was titled, it was chapter one. This, 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 that last chapter was called the Sacred Registers. Um, we should have finished it in half the time, but. Now you guys see what goes on behind the scenes. Now we got to edit chapter one. I guess I can turn this fan back up before my computer just absolutely. Absolutely just shits itself. What did you guys think? Did you Were you able to catch most of it? Did you feel something? Did you feel, did you feel anything? I might take a break. My back's starting to hurt. <laughs> what an what an interesting dude this guy is. Interesting dude. heard and understood the message yeah i'm see i'm curious to see where this where this video goes um i might do one more live recording for the squad but um all tiers if you guys want to support become a member of the channel or patreon all tiers i think the lowest tier is like a dollar a month um in the future these will be for the crowdfunding the crowdfunding only and then otherwise we'll just you know the rest of us will just wait for um for the finished audiobook. Everyone gets to hear it for free at some point, but if you guys would like to support, you could just hear it a little earlier and, you know, get to hang out while we make them, which is, which is always fun, which is always fun. So thank you guys. If you are already a Patreon or already a member of the channel, thank you so much. I think I saw um, Seaflower pop up and drop the hammer, drop the you shall not pass on someone earlier. So thank you, Seaflower. My little fly on the wall, or butterfly on the wall. That probably sounds nicer, huh? My little butterfly on the wall. <clears throat> Anywho. You guys have any comments or uh, anything you'd like to add? Or I guess I can add. So if you guys want to support Patreon, you can through here. 
You can join the Patreon. I think the lowest tier is a dollar. The tiers don't reflect the lives. That that was an idea I came up with this morning. So I'm going to readjust the Patreon tiers so that even if you're joining the Patreon for a dollar a month, you'll get access to the behind the scenes. And basically how that works is we'll have a set time and you'll get an email. Hey, we're going live on this date. And then we'll let you know ahead of time. Hey, little little reminder. And you'll get a link sent to you automatically. You just kick the link and boom, you're here. I might do one or two more freebies just to let everyone know what's good and get everyone kind of on board. But um, thanks, you guys, for chilling. I'm going to come back. I might even come back on later today. I'll record chapter. Maybe I'll do chapter two and three later today uh, live like this again because I do want to finish the Colburn Bible in the next 72 hours if possible. If possible. (laughs) And um, would love to have you guys hanging out with me. Butterfly. <laughs> um, oh, it's all right, Pasha. I actually, re- actually, it reminds me. I should stop recording this. <laughs>